there is a very cool and rare spectacle on display this week in the night sky. Okay, so listen to this. Five planets will be lining up, and experts say tonight, tonight will be the best night to see the planets Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Uranus in the sky. Cool. CBS News senior space analyst Bill Harwood joins us now to discuss what's above our heads. Bill, usually we're talking about, you know, astronauts getting into space so we can understand all these things but we understand that uh, astronomy fanatics and the regular folks around us will be able to enjoy this as well so where should they be at what time to get the best experience seeing these planets align well you know you don't really need a lot of equipment here you really just need to go outside and look to the west um, but uh, two caveats you're gonna have to have good weather you're going to have to be able to see all the way down to that western horizon without a lot of haze or buildings or trees in the way. Mm. And for Uranus, you're going to need a, a binoculars or maybe even a small telescope. Uh, but Jupiter and Mercury are just above the horizon to the west. Jupiter, of course, is pretty bright. You can see that one easily. Mercury is a challenge. It's a very small planet, and it could be lost in the haze. It just depends on what kind of weather you've got. If you move straight up from there, you'll see Venus and, and uh, Uranus. Now, Venus is so bright, you can't miss it. Uh, it's the brightest star in the sky, if you will. Uh, but Uranus, again, is a challenge. It's 1.8 billion miles away. It's a very dim object, and you would need binoculars uh, to have any chance to see it, and really probably a small telescope. Uh, but if you keep going up from there, I mean, look straight up overhead to the west, and you'll see the half moon. And just below that is Mars, a very red star, unquote. And, and that one's hard to miss, too. So you're certainly going to be able to see most of these uh, if you've got good weather. Now, where, where will people see the best? What are the best regions? Who's, uh, who's privileged in that way? Oh, just about anybody. I mean, just, just go outside and look to the west right after sunset. You do need a dark sky uh, or a darkening sky to pick out uh, Mercury. It's very dim, very low on the horizon. Uh, but, you know, you can't miss Venus and Jupiter. You can't miss Mars. You can't miss the moon. Just go stand outside, look to the west. Uh, and scan up from there and you can catch these guys. It's, it's a pretty nice little alignment. And Bill, right. that's so cool because it's these types of things for kids, for, for young people, for all of us, when we just look above our heads and we're reminded the entire universe is up there, how rare is it to have a moment like this where with your naked eye, just about, you can see so many planets lining up at once? What would, what would a young Bill Harwood have it, thought of this back in the day? Well, the young Bill Harwood's had a telescope since he was in the fifth grade, so I'm, I'm used to looking up at the sky. It's my hobby. Um, uh, but it's not all that rare. I mean, the planets are visible at all times of the year, you know, mostly different times of year for different planets. Uh, but to get them all lined up in one part of the sky, that's relatively rare. Every, every couple of years or maybe a little shorter than that. Uh, you know, we kind of hype these things up in the media. It makes it sound like it's a, it's a one-day event, but it's really not. You know, the planets aren't moving that fast. So, I mean, you'll still be able to see these tomorrow night. You could have seen them last night. Uh, but Jupiter will be getting lower and lower on the horizon. Mercury uh, will be getting a little bit higher. Venus will be getting higher. Uh, so it's, it's, it's one of those things. It changes, but it changes slowly. So, mm. you know, anytime this week, if you go out and look, you'll you get a pretty good show. All right, neighbor. Your rooftop, my rooftop, let's plan on That's this. That's right. And the, and the lesson is, get your kid a telescope so they can grow up to be Bill Harwood. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> thank Absolutely. you, Bill. Bill, thank you very much. Great to see you.